All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brad. Up this is another epic, amazing ops episode of the Unboxing Authority. So on this episode, we're gonna be talking about a few of you, the Solar Ray version, okay? And I'm talking about this because I believe it is very important, okay? No one has sent this to me for free to review. Nobody contacted me about this telling me to sell it, okay? Um, what happened was is that my grandma bright hub that I had, she took fever few all the time. Now, basically the way it's advertised is that it's supposed to help with migraines. Keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, ask your doctor. Ask your doctor before you take any medicine, okay? So, or any of this. So anyways, um, and, and they're probably gonna tell you that the magic pills and not to take them. But anyway, so, because that's what the doctor told me, but not my doctor, but anyway. So the thing is, is that I, um, I, I kind of had some migraines going on. I had to go to the emergency room and I wasn't sure what it was because of the symptoms that was driving me nuts. And so I went there and they treated me for migraines. All my symptoms went away. It was great. But anytime I took migraine medicine, I felt like a zombie and I really didn't like that. I don't like taking, you know, medicine, prescription medicine, or anything like that. This is a natural herb. It's been around for thousands of years. Well, it's been around since the creation of the world, but uh, people have been using it for thousands of years and it's called fever few um, or tenth and symptom per whatever Let's see if you guys can see that but anyways um, basically this stuff is supposed to clear any blockages you know in your blood vessels like in your brain and stuff which cause um, you know migraines headaches that sort of thing but it also seems like it cleans out your blood veins blood vessels prevents heart attacks um, you know, prevents high blood pressure, all that. So basically I started taking these religiously after a couple months ago when uh, my uncle had a heart attack and I was really thinking about this fever few stuff and should I take it? And I had just been to my doctor, my other doctor, uh, I, I had, I switched doctors, but anyways, I, I went to a doctor and they told me I had high blood pressure, not super high, but I was, you know, I was getting there and I had problems with uh, like pre-diabetes type stuff, things like that. And so I thought, well, what if I start taking Feverfew on a regular basis? You know, it cleans up all your blood veins in your head so that you don't have headaches and migraines as much, uh, seizures, um, which I don't have. And then uh, what else? It, it uh, you know, unclogs all your veins, gets everything running perfectly, right? So I took it for the last two or three months. I have to go back to my previous video, which you guys can watch on Feverfew. That's when I started taking it, okay? And I, I don't know if it published, it probably published sometime after I, you know, started taking it. But anyways, so the thing is, is that I went back to my doctor because I had something else going on. And he, they did check my blood pressure and they told me it was really low and I was doing really good. So for me, the fever few works, okay? You can try to say there's other variables going on, there's other things like exercise, dieting, whatever. But my diet hasn't changed. I've been, we've been eating the same diet, which is chicken and rice and vegetables um, with some salmon, well, uh, not salmon, but fish, burgers, I guess you could say once in a while, and uh, occasionally a hamburger or pizza. In fact, I've been eating more pizza since I started taking the fever few. So, you know, technically, and so you can get it on eBay, you can get it on Amazon, but there's differences, like I talked before, in the brand. And I did some research before I got this stuff. So the other brands are less expensive, but the problem is, is they're not as potent. Um, this one has 455 milligrams, 100 veggie caps. These will last, you know, if you're taking one morning and night, like I am, uh, you know, these will last you for at least a couple months, you know, before you need to get more. I like to get two at a time, you know, just so I have a backup. And they come with this yellow seal on top, and they say they're non-GMO, because they're not genetically modified, and, you know, they got the yellow cap. Now, so I don't know if the other brands say they're non-GMO. I don't know if they are non-GMO. Uh, but this one is, this uh, Solar Ray. And, like I said, they cost a little bit more than some of the other brands, but they're more potent, they have more of the product in each capsule and they're what I'm taking and it's been working. You know, anyone can put some fever few in a capsule and sell it and try to say, you know, there's fever few in these, you know, but this, like I said, this is working for me. 
Um, for read on the back here, it just says organic fever few 455 milligrams, daily value not established. And like I said, there's, as far as I know, this isn't regulated. Um, I don't think there's any, maybe by the FDA, but or the USDA, uh, sorry, the USDA regulates these. I don't know about the FDA because these are not considered a prescription. And like I said, I talked to a doctor who told me these were magic pills. Now, my... Um, my grandma, Bridehop, when she was taking these, um, her she had no issues with her uh, blood veins whatsoever as far as we know. Everything was completely clear. That's what we were told by the coroner after her time of death was that everything was completely clean and her veins were like a newborn baby's because she was taking fever few. Now, the coroner didn't say it was because she was taking fever few, but that's the only explanation that we have for it. So... Anyways, and thankfully, my Panasonic 4K camcorder is working well with the remote control right now with my cell phone right here. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about that just to keep you guys updated. So um, I was annoyed that I couldn't look in the viewfinder of the camera and see myself and hold things up and zoom in and that sort of thing while I was remote controlling. And I remembered that the manual says that it uses more power, the camcorder uses more power when... Um, when it has Wi-Fi mode enabled. And so I dis I figured out how to enable the viewfinder caused problems. It would disconnect with the camera. Um, the camera couldn't see, I'm sorry, my, my phone couldn't see the camera's uh, Wi-Fi access point anymore and it would get disconnected and then um, the camera wouldn't exit. And so what I had to do is actually put my phone into airplane mode to get the camera to exit because I didn't even shut the camera off unless I removed the battery and plugged it. There's no other way I could shut it off. And it probably ruined my recording because it's an MP4 format. So, because those can get corrupt, and when MP4 gets corrupt, you got to resort to a lot of measures to get it uncorrupt. Um, but uh, what else was I going to say? So, anyway, so I just switched the camera back to where the viewfinder shuts off while I'm doing remote control, and that way, because uh, I even had, had the camera plugged in, and it just wasn't able to do it. So now. It seems like it's working perfectly because I'm doing it now today, this video, no problems. I have had issues getting my phone to connect to the camera, um, you know, because I'll, I'll attach it to the access and then I updated the, the Panasonic image app and then I'm having issues with that. But anyways, few or few, it works. I take it twice a day, morning and night, and uh, it, uh, it gets rid of my uh, any blood pressure problem anything like that right now like I said I'm doing amazing according to the doctors I think they said something about 120 I don't know if that was 100 over 20 or 20 over 100 I'm, I'm not sure which way that works but I think that's what they told me when I was in there and they said that my blood pressure was really low so hopefully I heard all that right when they when they said it but uh, anyways great stuff get some all right thanks for watching the video please like comment share and subscribe and just bless you Please click the link in the description of the video. Consider giving to our Patreon. Go to ChristianCourts.com and uh, check out our GoFundMe, please, and, and all the great stuff. All right, bye. Subscriber Bunny agrees that 4K video is good for you. It's good for your health, so make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. May just bless you. Please check out ChristianCourts.com and how to build a moped.com and all those other affiliate links and great things in my GoFundMe. All right, bye.